As federal lawmakers seek to combat gun violence by improving the nation's background check system, a model in Pennsylvania may provide a potential roadmap. One America's Alex Salvi has more on how the state is responding to the national epidemic. In April of 2016, police came to the door of Donald Meyer Jr. to evict the man from his Pennsylvania home. After pulling a gun on officers, a shootout commenced, to which Meyer's daughter, Sierra, was incidentally shot and killed. Meyer had a history of mental health issues, which should have barred him from buying a firearm. A lot of places you'll call and they'll say, well, if it's, a, if it's an arrest from before 1984, we don't have it because the courthouse burned down in 1984. His paperwork, however, was lost in transit between the county and state, highlighting another gap in the state's background check system and igniting rallies throughout the state. In response, Pennsylvania launched an audit system designed to identify reporting gaps and modernize the technology used in transferring information. The state designated over $2 million in federal grants to help reform the system. Background checks for gun sellers are complex. They have to search the FBI's background check system, the Interstate Identification Index, where criminal records are stored, and the National Crime Information Center that holds warrants and protection orders. There's still a lot of people out there that have serious mental issues that do not fall under this law. Some checks are instantaneous, while others require further research. If a background check isn't complete after 72 hours, by law, the gun seller can complete the sale without the final result. For the most part, the system worked, stopping 3 million gun sales to individuals barred from owning guns since it was first implemented in 1998. But it certainly wasn't perfect. The good news is we know which policies work. Um, we know that uh, making sure that every gun sale goes through a background check so that we keep guns out of the hands of individuals who pose a risk to themselves or others um, can have a significant impact in terms of reducing gun homicides and gun suicides. The biggest improvement to the Pennsylvania system was made by keeping records, both state and federal. A state court ruling in 2013 held that confirmed involuntary reports of mental health concerns by family members were enough to block gun sales to an individual. You're never going to stop all violence in this country. People are going to do bad things, they're going to do violent things, they're going to do stupid things. I think the main concern I have is we shouldn't make it easy for dangerous and irresponsible people to do this. This court decision allowed Pennsylvania to combine state and federal mental health records into one easy to use system which added 200,000 names to the background check system that would have otherwise been absent. Since the system was reformed, Pennsylvania has submitted the most mental health records per capita of any state in the country. Alex Salvi, One America News.